the forests are alive from the jaguar to the little insect. Everything is alive and it's all interconnected. The Amazon is the largest source of fresh water in the world. We need to protect the rainforest. The Amazon rainforest is not only the most biodiverse tropical rainforest on the planet, it's one of the most culturally diverse. Over 400 distinct indigenous peoples live in the Amazon and call it home. In the Ecuadorian Amazon, the people of Sarayaku have been defending this territory for thousands of years. Amazon Watch is a nonprofit organization, and our mission is to defend the Amazon rainforest and advance the rights of indigenous peoples. We believe that indigenous peoples are the best protectors of the Amazon rainforest. If the current trends continue, 50% of the Amazon will be degraded or deforested by 2020 there could be an ecological collapse of the Earth's heart pop. Indigenous territories are likely to remain standing as long as they remain under indigenous control. Indigenous and frontline communities are coming together to call for a stop to the expansion of the fossil fuel frontier. And NGOs are supporting that vision and supporting that call. They say, that it's a coming together that has been planned as a prophecy. We're the frontline defenders. The movement needs to hear from our perspective. Amazon Watch went to COP21 to amplify the voices of indigenous peoples, not just their voices, but their solutions, their proposals in the global climate debates. Our two delegations, many of these people had never been to Paris before. Amazon Watch helped them sort their visas, their tickets. We set up an agenda of meetings in which their voices can be heard. COP is the United Nations Conference of Parties, which are the global governments coming together. Leaders of important indigenous associations came to Paris to represent the struggle against large dams on their river, against illegal incursions on their territories by miners and loggers. These climate conferences, they're huge. There's thousands of people, and it can often be very difficult to get your message out or have impact. Our message in Paris was to leave at least 80% of fossil fuels in the ground. In Sarayaku, they have an alternative proposal to oil drilling and extraction on their territory. It's called the Living Forest Proposal. Amazon Watch helped facilitate their participation in various spaces on the inside, at the official COP space, and also on the outside at all of the different public spaces. Our allies came to us and said, we want a large delegation, and we also want to bring a symbol of our living forest. A hand-carved canoe of one of our sacred trees. This canoe is almost 800 pounds. For Sadiaku, it was incredibly important that it get in the water in Paris. It helped tell their own story about why their fight to keep their forest intact is indeed a climate solution. Amazon Watch put out a call to some of the other indigenous groups that were in Paris. And the Lummi who come from the Pacific Northwest are also canoe people. They know how to move canoes. Amazon Watch helped facilitate the bridge building from the north and the south. We connected with other indigenous folks. They're in frontline defenders too. That was one of the best things that we got out of the Paris Accord. We created this unity movement moving forward. The prophecy is coming true. 
the coming together of the eagle and the condor. The eagle representing North America, the condor representing South America or the global south. They start flying together, they start working together in unity. To see all of our work flowering that day in such a beautiful event was very powerful. It was such a huge opportunity to get the messages of indigenous peoples to the forefront at COP21. Global governments came together and they signed this climate agreement. We need to hold our governments accountable to that. It's our role to ensure that if their governments are not hearing, if the corporations who are affecting them are not listening, then we have to talk to other people, decision makers, other influencers. Amazon Watch straddles worlds very effectively. We are respected by a number of corporate actors with whom we engage, the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights, with the UN Human Rights Council. Therefore, we have lines to these institutions that can make a difference in the way that governments act. We've had very strong connections with our indigenous partners and have built relationships of trust. Amazon Watch can bring their stories to the boardrooms of these companies. The work obviously doesn't stop after Paris. We have a moment in time and it's urgent. Protecting and defending indigenous territory can save 60% of the Amazon. We need more supporters. If we want to stop climate change, we have to protect the Amazon rainforest. It's the lungs of the planet. And to do that, we have to support indigenous people's rights. Our generation is the one who has to act, and act now. It's not only the indigenous people's fight, it's the world fight. If we don't do this, there's nobody that will do it.